and she did her time eating dollar thirty meals, washing her own tray and sleeping on a foldable mattress on the floor. Hmm, forced to eat cheap meals? Wouldn't even be much of a punishment for Donald Trump. And there you have it. This is America's news. This is what people are just, just digesting and getting on a daily basis. These people should be ashamed of themselves. Before we dive into this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you guys could please share so we can get the word and the video out there. Do you hear that nonsense? And just real quick, it gets even worse. Look at this. For years, the U.S. left has correctly complained about the amount we spend on our prison system. But surely the left wouldn't mind spending a little bit more on a custom-built Trump jail. I mean, if you even started a GoFundMe for that, it would be fully funded in a day, for much less than the price of a for-profit private prison or, I don't know, a casino in Atlantic City. So let's get ready to do it. Let's get ready to build the walls. So he's already talking about, oh yeah, he'll have no problem in prison with a cheap meal. Then it shows a picture of him eating McDonald's and all. You see how they like to try to play this game and all that? So what, he's supposed to eat lobster every single day, right? You know lobster used to be for like poor people? Like, cause basically it's like, a, you know, it's considered like just bottom feeders, right? Well, it is a bottom feeder, but it was like more for poor people. Now you see how it's flipped and lobster's really more like a, almost a delicacy, like it's expensive. Someplace the most expensive thing on the menu it's kind of weird how times have changed but that's what so what do you expect him to be eating caviar and just prime rib ribeye every single day so if he steps out and eats mcdonald's you see they'll take the photo and apply he has no problem with the cheap meal these people and this is the news this is the way they report it but then you saw that last little part right there talking about oh we'd have no problem getting a fund together so we can build that wall so we can lock him behind bars so what are we waiting for what's taking so long and this is the media and let me ask you for a hot second have you ever seen them react this way with anybody that's an actual criminal anybody on the flight logs anybody that came across the border and harmed women and children somebody who went up in a school and tore people up tore children up any of these sick individuals do you ever see like the glee and just the just overall enthusiasm that oozes out of these clowns on cable television the way they talk about this man do you do you have you guys seen this anywhere else they could be walking somebody like that's a complete just a Hannibal Lecter type figure right that's eating like 30 people and killed a hundred, they would not have the same smile on their face about that person going to jail the way they would about Trump going to jail. My top level expert legal analysis of the affidavit is why ain't this dude in jail? Like, what does this man have to do to go to jail? This is what they pump out to people on a 24-7 news cycle is this garbage. He's basically sitting up there advocating for a GoFundMe to build a prison or some of this nonsense and they call this the news. They're not covering none of this other stuff going on in the world. They're not covering what's happening with China and Taiwan, how we can get mixed up on with that. What about all the other details? What about everything else going around? Do they check in on the border? Do they check in on the crime? What about talking about the education system in this country and how terrible and how it's going in the hole. Do they talk about any of that? Usually that's what the news is, right? To keep you informed about everything that's taking place. That's not what they do. Right now, go through one of their YouTube channels, right? So to speak, either one of them, CNN, MSNBC. One time I counted, they had 40, I went 40 videos down. 32 of them had Trump either in the title or in the thumbnail out of 40. What does that tell you? It's this obsession, and this is what they do on a day-in basis, and they call themselves the news. That he's trying to undermine the media, trying to make up his own facts, and it could be that while unemployment and uh, the, the economy worsens, he could have undermined the messaging so much that he can actually control right. uh, exactly what people think. And that if, is the that is our you, job. Yeah, if, and that's why people completely tune him out. That's why people don't watch anymore. Even if they were talking about Joe Biden like this in the same way, like a dog, twenty. I would get tired of hearing 
caring about that or any, but even if it was Hillary 24 seven, you, at some point in time, it's going to get so bad that eventually they're going to have to convert over and actually report factual stuff, or they're just going to go down with the ship. I've always been interested to see how this all ends at the, because none of their stuff is going trending in the right direction. You see what happened with the CNN plus that was DOA. Like it was going to take off from the airplane hangar, the carrier ship, and it just got just bombed right before it even took off, had no shot because people don't want to hear this garbage these ratings are in the hole you see what's going on with the strike with the late night television people are tired of it they're sick and tired none of this stuff is reality it's almost like a sitcom and this is what they pump out but tell me what you guys think am i crazy about all this stuff or is it or do you guys enjoy hearing the same stories day in or day out or do you think that they should just talk about stuff that's going around in the country let's hear about what's going on in ohio let's hear about what's going on in Oregon or in South Carolina or whatever, something that doesn't have to be political. Just let's talk about an overview of how the country's doing. Our country is going to hell. They'll never talk about that stuff. It's just Trump 24 seven. And I'm pretty sure everybody's sick of it, including you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. Let me know how you guys feel about this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you guys could please share so we can get the word out there. And I will catch you guys on the next one.